It's no secret that mortgage rates are on the rise. According to CNBC, in just a matter of months, mortgage rates have surged to over 3% for a 30-year fixed loan to just north of 5%. This means the needs to improve and or maintain a high credit score is invaluable. Having a higher credit score will help you receive a lower mortgage rate which can save you thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars over the life of the loan. When we purchased our second real estate property, our interest rate was 5% because I had a collection account that I was unaware of and hurt my credit. Later on, we decided to refinance when interest rates were lower and I had a higher credit score again. We were able to obtain a 3% interest rate. Talk about saving us tons of money. In this video, I will explain how credit scores are calculated and share 14 methods to boost your credit. At the end of the video, I will touch on how to rebuild credit. So thank you for tuning in to our Beesinger Fire Journey channel. I am Jordan Beesinger, and in this channel, I share my family's financial freedom journey with tips on personal finance and investing. We'd love for you to show this video a little love by hitting that like button, adding a comment below, and subscribing to our journey. If you're looking to improve your credit score, you come to the right place. By following these 14 credit improving tips, you'll be well on your way to receiving a better credit rating in no time. In this day and age, your credit score is important. A good credit score can help you qualify for a loan and get a lower interest rate. On the other hand, a bad credit score can result in higher interest rates and difficulty getting approved for loans. That's why it's important to do everything you can to build your credit score. And fortunately, there are a few simple yet effective things you can do to give your score that boost. So you may be asking yourself, how are credit scores calculated? Credit scores are calculated based on several factors, including payment history, credit utilization, length of credit history, types of credit, new credit inquiries. Now let's take a closer look at each of these factors and how you can improve your score in each area. Payment history is one of the most important factors in determining your credit score. Therefore, it's important to always make your payments on time. If you have missed any payments in the past, now is the time to start making them on time, and you can do this. This will show creditors that you are serious about paying your debts and improve your chances of getting approved for new loans. Credit utilization is another important factor in determining your credit score. This is the amount of credit you're using compared to the amount of credit you have available. Let me give you an example. If you have a credit card with a $1,000 limit and you're carrying a balance of $500, your credit utilization would be 50%. You can improve your credit utilization by paying down your debts and keeping your balances low. Creditors like to see that you are not maxing out your credit cards. So this is a great way to improve your credit score. Next is length of credit history. It is an important factor that lenders look for at determining credit worthiness. Simply put, the longer you have been using credit, the better. So it's important to keep old accounts open even if you don't use them often. Creditors will see and care that you have a long history of responsible credit use. Types of credit also affect your credit score. Creditors will see if you're using a variety of different types of credit, such as revolving credit, for example, credit cards, and installment loans, for example, auto loans, this shows that you are able to manage different types of debt responsibly. Last is new credit inquiries. Whenever you apply for a new credit, it will result in a hard inquiry on your report. Too many hard inquiries can hurt your score, so it is vital to only apply for new credit when you really need it. Now that we've discussed the factors that go into your credit score, you might be wondering, does a good credit score even matter? The simple answer is yes. So why does a good credit score matter? A good credit score can save you money. A bad credit score can cost you money. It's as simple as that. For example, let's say you want to buy a nice new car. If you have good credit, you'll likely qualify for a lower interest rate on your loan. This could save you hundreds and even thousands of dollars in interest payments over the life of the loan. On the other hand, if your credit is poor, you may not qualify for a loan at all. Or, if you do qualify, you'll likely be stuck with a high interest rate, which will end up costing you more in the long run. A good credit score can help you get an apartment. Many landlords will check your credit score before approving for service. And if your score is low, you may be denied service or required to pay a deposit. Another reason why credit score is important is that it can help you get a job. 
Many employers will check your credit history as part of the hiring process. And if your credit score is low, it could be a red flag for them and they may decide to hire someone else instead. As you can see, having a good credit score is important for a variety of reasons. Fortunately, there are a few simple things you can do now to improve your credit score. So a good credit score is important because it can save you money and help you get approved for the things you need in life. Now let's discuss the ways that you can increase your credit score. Here are 14 genius tips to improve your credit score fast. Before we begin, it's important to note that this is not a one size fit all solution when it comes to improving your credit score. What works for one person might not work for another. So take these tips as general guidelines and tailor them to your own situation. Tip number one, pay your bills on time. One of the biggest factors that affect your credit score is payment history. So if you want to boost your credit score fast, you need to make sure that you're always on track paying your bills on time. Even one late payment can negatively impact your credit score. So it's important to be very diligent about making all of your payments on time every time. Tip number two, keep your balances low. Creditors like to see that you're not maxing out credit cards, so keep your balances low. You can improve your credit utilization by paying down debts and keeping your balances low. Tip number three, use a mixture of different types of credit. Creditors like to see when you're using a variety of different types of credit, such as revolving credit, installment loans, and even store credit cards. So if you want to boost your credit fast, make sure to use a mixture of different types of credit responsibly. Tip four, check your credit report regularly. Another important tip to boost your credit score fast is to check your credit report regularly. This will help you catch any errors or discrepancies that could be dragging down your score. What's really cool is you can get a free credit report from each of the three major credit bureaus once per year. Remember to always make sure that it is a soft check and not a hard check. Later in this video, I will describe the differences between a soft check and a hard check. Now on to tip number five, dispute any errors on your credit report. If you do find errors on your credit report, make sure to dispute them right away. You can do this by writing a letter to the credit bureau that issued the report. Tip number six, use automatic payments. One easy way to make sure that you're always paying your bills on time is to set up automatic payments. This may seem simple, but it's very effective. That way you will never have to worry about forgetting a payment or being late on a payment. Tip number seven, consider a balance transfer. If you have multiple high interest credit cards, another great way to boost your score is to transfer the balances to a low interest card. This will help reduce your overall debt and show creditors that you're working to pay off your debts. Just make sure you don't incur any new debt on the cards while you're working to pay off the balance transfer. Tip number eight, use a credit monitoring service. If you want to keep an eye on your credit score and make sure that you're always taking steps to improve it, consider using a credit monitoring service. These services help you track progress and give you personalized tips to improve your score. Tip number nine, get help from a professional. If you're having any troubles boosting your credit score on your own, consider getting help from a professional. A credit counselor or financial advisor can provide valuable guidance and help create a plan to improve your credit score. Tip 10, ask for a higher credit limit. A helpful tip to consider if you want to boost your credit score is to get a credit card with a higher limit. This will improve your credit utilization and show creditors that you can manage more credit responsibly. Just make sure you don't max out the card and always pay your bill on time. If you do, you'll see a significant boost in your credit score in no time. Tip number 12, prepay the balance and plan ahead. If you know you'll be carrying a balance on your credit card for a couple months, one way to avoid paying interest is to prepay the balance. This way, you can pay off the entire balance before interest accrues, which is great. Have the money available in your account so you don't end up overdrawing and incurring fees. This helps to prevent you from going over your credit utilization ratio for larger purchases. It's a great idea to have a couple months worth of payments saved up so you can prepay when necessary. Tip number 13, get a lower interest rate credit card. Another tip to consider if you want to boost your credit score is to get a credit card with a lower interest rate. Doing so will help you save money on interest and show creditors that you are a responsible borrower. Tip number 14, stay patient. Last but definitely not least, it's important to stay patient when you're trying to boost your credit score. It takes time to make improvements, so don't get discouraged if you don't see results overnight. Just keep working at it 
and you'll eventually see the improvements that you're looking for. Take these 14 genius tips and put them into action to boost your credit score fast. Remember, the sooner you start working on improving your credit, the better off you'll be in the long run. So don't wait, get started today. So how long does it take to rebuild credit? The answer to this question is largely dependent upon your credit situation. If you have a long history of payments, it would take longer to rebuild your credit than if you had a shorter history or no late payments at all. You can expect changes every 30 to 45 days, so it may take a few months to see significant improvement. It's important to do a soft credit check and not a hard credit check, as the latter can harm your credit score. So for soft credit checks, this is a type of credit inquiry that does not impact your credit score. This is the ideal type of credit check to do if you're looking for new credit, such as a credit card or a loan. The hard credit check is a type of credit inquiry that will show up on your credit report and will temporarily lower your credit score. This type of credit check you should avoid if at all possible. Patience is important when rebuilding your credit. The key takeaway that I'd like you to have is to try and follow these steps to avoid the common mistakes that could hurt your progress. I highly encourage you to review each of the 14 tips I've shared with you today and use those that you feel could be of benefit. I'd also love to hear from you in the comment section below with any other tips or tricks you've used to boost your credit score. Please leave a like and subscribe for more on our journey. Thank you so much, stay safe, and have an amazing day.